Hi everyone, I'm here with a flip through of our fabric covered journal. Uh, this is uh, foundation of the cover is a file folder. The size is 9 by 6 finished here. Um, it's about 2 inches, maybe an inch and 3 quarters thick. Um, plenty of room to grow. Um, I have a um, fabric cover. I've got just a piece of linen here with the journal plate. This is um, from Artie Mays. I believe it's one of the freebies on her uh, Facebook page. I've got some lace uh, trim down the side. That's, uh, that's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to cover up all of the beautiful fabric. Um, the back I've left the way it is. We have an elastic uh, band for binding and I've just got a piece of cotton trim for the closure. So when we open this up inside we've got a 5x7 envelope and inside the 5x7 envelope, I'm just going to fold that back, I have a piece of, of journal um, paper. We've got our designer pages are from the Kirby Teasdale collection by Paper Studio. Um, I've trimmed the designer, well every other designer page uh, is trimmed in the cotton trim. Um, the book idea, um, the way I've put it together, comes from Carol Tenson at the Crafty Emporium. I will leave her link below. I've got a pocket here with a 3x6 tag, some seam binding um, in the top. I've got a coffee dyed paper here. This is from, um, I don't know why I have such a mental blank where this is concerned, but I will leave um, the link below to the coffee dyed uh, digitals. Um, I've got just a, um, a journal card here. These are three by four. Um, these are from a pad from, I think it's um, Creative Couture, Couture Creations, something like that. Uh, it's a six by six pad and I've just got some cotton trim there. Here's another one of the designer pages from Kirby Teasdale. I've got a craft envelope, which I've just run some cotton trim. I have a tag that is um, backed with a file folder cut off. This is um, a four by five, I believe. Um, and then I've got some um, seam binding for that one. And this is a well, there's a journal card. These are double-sided. Um, this is a flip-over tag. It started out as a 3x6 tag, and I have scored it at 1.5 and, and 4, and makes a nice little journal slash tuck spot. I'm just hanging it over the page with the paper clip, and then I am able to tuck things inside. There's another 3x6 tag. Um, another one of the designer pages. I've got another pocket, another tag. Here is a small, um, just a glassine type bag. I've got a little journal card inside. Um, little decoupage from a napkin. Actually, I think that was, um, I used the Tim Holtz papers and it was the collage paper floral is the name of that and that's what I've used to decoupage throughout. Here's another one of those coffee dyed um, papers. I've um, This is the cut off from that side tag here. I cut off three inches and, and this is the cut off from that and I've just, this is a coffee dyed page that I've just run um, a piece of lace and I've glued it here and here and across the bottom I'm just tucked that in there. Another designer page with the lace trim, a little doily. Um, on a couple of the coffee dyed I've just used my Martha Stewart punch. I do not know the name of that punch. Um, but if you're interested let me know. I will try to look it up on Amazon because that's where I purchased it. So here's another designer page. Here is our um, CD sleeves we did with the large tag inside. These tags are just backed on um, the um, 
file with a file folder to make it sturdier. Um, all I've done here is taken the CD, um, grunged it up a little bit. I have a little piece of fabric cut off from the cover and a piece of lace and I've used a little um, Every Day is a New Adventure piece from the uh, Couture Creations 6x6 pad and then I've added a couple of pearls. On the back side of this, I've added a postcard tuck from that same 6x6 pad. Um, I've added a piece from the Kirby Teasdale collection that goes all the way across to keep that uh, connected so I can put it in the signature. You could, uh, if, I, if you didn't connect it with the paper, you could easily glue these to one of the pages. Um, but I've added a little tiny postcard here that I've just got a tuck or I'm sorry, a journal card and a small tag in there. Um, we've got a horizontal belly band. This is from Kirby Teasdale. And a couple of, I've got a, a medium sized tag and then this is a, like a gift card envelope. I've got a corner tuck here that flips up for journaling and a medium sized tag in that pocket. Here's our center of our signature. This is a piece of, uh, it's a five by seven envelope, which I folded in half um, and I've turned it upside down so that we have um, a couple of, of tucks here. There's also space for uh, tags on the top. And then just the back side of that flip with the tag. Here's a larger uh, vertical belly band. I've got a larger envelope here that fits right under there. That's from the Kirby Teasdale paper and then a three by six tag. Um, here's the back side of that other CD sleeve. I've got a journal card and a small tag in there. And I've just run a piece of lace on the sides there. So here's the other um, tag. And I just love how it fits through the window. This one says treasure the time, love the moments, and there again it's just the fabric, the lace, um, the words from the 6x6 six six pad, and a couple of pearls. And back of that designer paper, coffee paper, don't know what that is, a doily, and the other designer paper. Here's another um, cut off from one of those side tags that I've just tucked in this lace pocket. Um, another pocket with a 3x6 tag. Here's the other side of that bag. I've got another journal card inside. I've left plenty of room for journaling, plenty of space for adding things. I didn't want to fill it too full. Here's another um, flip over tag um, that's got a tag tucked. And then here's the other side of it. Here's the other side of that craft um, envelope with the three four by five um, tag in the side, like so. And there's the other designer paper, and this is the short page. I've just got a little journaling card in there. Plenty of room for more items in here. Like I said, I just, I had to stop because um, I need to leave room um, for you to add what you would like to add. So here's another pocket with a three by six tag and the back side of that designer page. And then here is a flip out with another piece of journaling paper in the back. So yeah, that it, it is starting to get a little chunky, but not too bad. I wanted to stop before it got out of control. You know how that can be. So, and then I've just used this to tie a simple closure and that's it so there again I will leave the links below um, to Carol and to uh, the coffee dyed paper and um, this one actually is spoken for this one goes to my cousin Anna so yeah I'm I'm excited that this one's finished now we will be moving on to Christmas in July. So everyone uh, enjoy your holiday weekend if you're celebrating the holiday this weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye now.